How's it going guys? Part two of the uh, Huffy Challenger cleanup, uh, the 1985 Huffy. Uh, it's actually turning out way better than I expected. I'm getting probably almost 100% of the rust off. So you can see how that's turning out. The forks are really pretty bad in the front top there and the back. And then down by the crank, you can see almost all that rust is gone. Unfortunately, there's a kickstand on it was welded on, so that's gonna have to stay. But it's turning out very, very nice, better than expected. I've had people in the past ask, what do I use to clean up bikes? I've used a Coca-Cola in tinfoil, and I found uh, Brasso works uh, very well. So that's what I use on that. You can see this rim, this is the front rim. So I started the one side with the tinfoil and Brasso. So you can see how that's looking. As a comparison, this is the other side. So big difference. You can see what the uh, Brasso and tinfoil does to the rims. So I'm going to hope and try and get this done in, uh, by the end of the weekend, and then I'll show you guys the uh, finished, completed of it. I don't like to uh, add parts and stuff. It adds to the cost of the uh, restoration. So I just like to keep basically everything that was here uh, intact. Sometimes you have to do buy new tubes and tires, but this one I should be able to keep everything original. Okay, ended up putting uh, the bike back together. This is how it turned out. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected. The chain was uh, really pretty rusty and uh, I had to soak it for like three days. And that's what the the uh, chain, all this, the rust that came off the chain. Uh, I had to soak in uh, white vinegar for I think almost four days. I was at work, so I couldn't really work on it anyways. So that's what that looks like. Uh, so the cost on this, I had to buy a new rear tube and just some cleaning supplies. So all in on this bike, uh, maybe $35 and just my time of cleaning it up. Uh, ended up being, uh, like I said, turned out better than I expected. Uh, looking at it in the sun, I can see some more spots where I need to fix some, uh, some rust but you can see the rims uh, turned out really well. And I was worried about the rear rim and that actually turned out really good. There's not really any rust. Seeing in the uh, sunlight, I can see a couple more spots that I need to go over. See, to have some uh, paint loss on the seat post there. So yeah, just a basic cleanup. I didn't take every single nut and bolt off and clean them. On these bike flips, I don't like to, uh, like I said, I don't like to put a lot of money into them because it's basically a lost profit. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.